WHO has been assessing this outbreak around the clock and we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. Wabah COVID-19 atau dikenal dengan corona mengguncang dunia. Tidak disangka, virus yang bermula dari Wuhan itu kini menyebar ke lebih dari 100 negara di dunia. Tidak hanya dipusingkan dengan cara pencegahan corona, negara-negara turut dipusingkan dengan dampak negatif corona, terutama kepada perekonomian. Virus corona faktanya turut memukul kondisi ekonomi global. Pertumbuhan ekonomi global diproyeksi akan mencatat laju terendah dalam lebih dari satu dekade di tahun ini. Corona ternyata memukul sisi permintaan dan juga supply. Akibatnya Organisasi Kerjasama dan Pembangunan Ekonomi atau OECD memangkas proyeksi untuk pertumbuhan ekonomi global secara full year dari sebelumnya 2,9 persen menjadi hanya 2,4 persen atau laju terlemah sejak krisis finansial melanda tahun 2008 hingga 2009. Hal serupa juga dilakukan lembaga pemeringkat Fitch. Imbas corona yang semakin menjadi, Fitch akhirnya kembali memangkas proyeksi ekonomi dunia untuk tahun 2020 dari sebelumnya 2,7 persen, kini melambat menjadi 2,6 persen. OECD dan Fitch bukan satu-satunya entitas internasional yang memangkas proyeksi ekonomi global di tengah ancaman COVID-19. Sebelumnya, IMF menyatakan penyebaran virus corona berpotensi merusak pertumbuhan ekonomi dunia, sehingga IMF kembali memangkas proyeksi ekonomi global sebesar 0,1 hingga 0,2 persen pada tahun 2020 ini. Selain itu, Asian Development Bank bahkan meramalkan angka perlambatan yang lebih dalam. ADB memprediksi wabah virus corona akan memangkas pertumbuhan ekonomi global sebesar 0,1 persen hingga 0,4 persen. Hal itu disinyalir akan berdampak signifikan pada ekonomi Asia, termasuk kepada Korea dan Singapura. Sangahan sangangianan, disangan cewangi kiruanida. I think the impact will be significant, at least in the next couple of quarters. Um, it's a very um, intense outbreak. I think it's already much more than SARS. And the economies of the region are much more interlinked together. China particularly is a much bigger factor in the region and therefore I I can't say whether we'll have a recession or not we it's possible but definitely our economy will take a hit. Di sisi lain, Organisasi Perdagangan Investasi dan Pembangunan PBB atau UNCTAD meramalkan perlambatan ekonomi di tahun 2020 akibat wabah corona berpotensi menimbulkan kerugian global sebesar 1 triliun dolar Amerika Serikat. Envisage a a a slowdown uh, in the in the global economy to under 2% uh, uh, for this year. Um, and that will probably cost in the order of a trillion dollars compared with what people were forecasting. Uh, back in September, the kind of doomsday scenario where the world economy grows at only uh, 0.5% uh, this year, you're talking about a, tru- a two trillion dollar hit to the global uh, to the global economy. Beberapa negara pun mulai menyuntikkan stimulus fiskal dan moneter. Terbaru, Bank Sentral Amerika Serikat tanpa diduga memangkas suku bunga hingga 50 basis point. Powell menyebutkan, Corona. telah berdampak pada industri pariwisata. The virus and the measures that are being taken to contain it will surely weigh on economic activity <coughs> both here and abroad for some time. We are beginning to see the effects on the tourism and travel industries and we are hearing concerns from industries that rely on global supply chains. 
The magnitude and persistence of the overall effects on the, on the economy, however, remain highly uncertain, and the situation remains a fluid one. Lantas seperti apakah nasib dunia di tengah gerogotan corona? Mampukah negara-negara saling bahu-membahu untuk memerangi corona? Karena jika abai, bukan tidak mungkin laju PDB dunia pada tahun ini, seperti yang diproyeksikan UNCTAD, hanya akan menyentuh level 0,5 persen. Did you also discuss with President Joko Widodo or Ibu Sri Mulyani about what is happening right now, you know, coronavirus, because it's hurting the global economy, of course. Did you also discuss about that? And yeah, then... of course, that's a really you know, concern for everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are a couple of channels uh, where coronavirus can have a negative impact, not only in Indonesia the economy, but, you know, everybody. Yeah? One is tourism. Yeah. yeah, I think most most you know quick uh, impact will be appearing in tourism industry, mm -hmm. and uh, I think you know, also in Indonesia you are seeing uh, you know dramatic decline of the you know, tourists coming from China only yeah. right. So that's mm -hmm. happening almost everywhere in mm -hmm. Asian region, in Japan, in Thailand, in you know, Korea, and so on. A second is uh, um, production. Uh, because China has been greatly you know integrated into the global value chain, so if parts coming from China stops, you know, of course, that has a, a significant impact on production, you know, activity here in Indonesia, uh, in Japan, and also uh, somewhere else. So, so production channel is the second thing uh, I'm very much concerned about. And third thing is, you know, investment. Okay. Investment, if, especially if, you know, coronavirus, uh, you know, the impact coming from coronavirus is, you know, considered to be long lasting mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. people initially thought, mm -hmm. then, you know, investment activity might be impacted, you know, uh, uh, severely, uh, together with, uh, you know, uh, household consumption behaviors. Uh, consumption behavior might also be, you know, constrained uh, by ki kind of sentiment uh, that the coronavirus, uh, you know, uh, impact would be uh, long lasting. And uh, all in all, you know, what kind, what you know, degree of impact we mm -hmm. should expect? Yeah. Yeah? How, how, how bad is the yeah, impact, yeah. right? Now, uh, our economic, economic department, uh, economic and research department is uh, vigorously working on, you know, uh, uh, calculating mm -hmm. uh, co concrete fears, you know, yeah. what, 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 how large the impact uh, coming from coronavirus on our you know, regional economies. And uh, today I'm not ready uh, mm -hmm. to announce any, you mm -hmm. know, uh, you know, a concrete uh, conclusion, but it's coming shortly, uh, so uh, please uh, wait uh, for a while. But I think uh, we have to assume in a couple of things, including that, you know, how long it would last. If it's if short-lived, okay, maybe uh, for the second you quarter. You think it's going to be short or long? Well, nobody knows as, okay. as of today, so it's a really uncertainty. But it's so lived, you know, maybe first quarter of this you know, year might be severely affected mm -hmm. everywhere. But yeah. maybe second quarter, especially Indonesia has been enjoying a very robust and strong, mm -hmm. you know, uh, domestic demand. Mm -hmm. Economy high, economic growth around 5.1% five, five, 5 yeah. and so on. Yeah. So I, I hope, uh, you know, if short lived, the Indonesian economy will come back to the sustainable path as early as in the second quarter of this year. But if it's you know, longer than we initially thought, then you know, impact would be you know, much, much severe than uh, we are expecting. Okay, because you know, if, if we see other organization that has been like, you know, uh, cutting the, uh, the uh, interest rate and then cutting the projection for the PDBs of you know, all around the world, even globally. So is it gonna be like that serious in, in ADB's opinion? Yeah, actually, you know, as you may know, uh, you, as you may have noticed, you know, capital market, uh, mm -hmm. you know, reacted very strongly against it, and uh, sometimes it may uh, be overreaction and so on. So, you know, those kind of coordinated, you know, measures, both in fiscal fiscal policy yeah. arena and yeah. also monetary policy arena, mm -hmm. is very much necessary. Like. Uh, we did uh, after, uh, uh, right after the Lima shock, uh, you know, mm -hmm. in 2008. Okay, yeah. is, is there any initiative that ADB, you know, has been done for well, so far, to prevent the uh, Yeah, the yeah, we tried to be very quick. And uh, as early as, uh, you know, as, uh, February 7th, so we already announced uh, two, two million uh, technical assistance grant uh, mm -hmm. for the, you know, uh, countries, uh, you know, immediately affected by coronavirus. And also on uh, February 25th, uh, we approved another 18.6 million US dollars. 18.6 million US okay. dollars to uh, one private sector company in China, mm -hmm. uh, which is called uh, uh, Joint Town uh, Pharmaceutical 
uh, distributor of you know uh, medical supplies and so on uh, to support their you know ongoing business. And thirdly, uh, the following day, uh, February 26, we also you know approved another another additional uh, two, two million US dollars uh, for the you know uh, uh, any country uh, in the region uh, to support. Uh, uh, you know uh, the activities uh, to mm -hmm. combat with the uh, you know, impact uh, coming from coronavirus. So we took you know this you know measure quickly. Although uh, the amount is not really gigantic, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I think you know well this shows really our kind of you know, spirit. Uh, try to you know, uh, coordinate and collaborate with our member countries for, for the short time first. Right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So. Uh, if we talk about the uh, the uh, coronavirus, it's you know it's in already like sixty to seventy countries, right? Mm -hmm. And then if we see the uh, the member of ADB, it's it's the same same amount, like sixty eight, you know, right? Sixty eight countries. Right. So what do you think this? You know, what is your your take on 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 this uh, coronavirus to to the global economy? Do do you think that is it gonna be you know, very bad for the economy if it's, you know, for the longer term. Yeah, as I mentioned, you know, if uh, it's, I think it's uh, mainly depends on how long this would last. And uh, I hope this would be really short lived, but if it's really long, you know, compared to with uh, SARS, you know, uh, crisis in 2003, you know, we are also badly affected. But at that time, Chinese economy was not this big. Mm -hmm. Compared with 20 years ago, you know, impact would be inevitably larger. Mm -hmm. you know, concerning the size of the Chinese economy and so on. Yeah. So that cannot be helped. So uh, the one thing I'm really, you know, wondering is, you know, the length of, you know, uh, the events. And I, I hope uh, that uh, this will be over uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, tax base is relatively very narrow okay. and t tax collection is not really strong. Mm -hmm.